the channel so here we are discussing the question thorns and coin on code forces so the problem states that during your journey through computer universes you stumbled upon a very interesting world it is a path with n consecutive cells each of which can be empty contain thorns or a coin in one move you can move one or two cells along the path provided that the destination cell does not contain thorns and belongs to the path if you move to cell with a coin you pick it up so here so as here you can see you can move one or two cells along the path so here you move one so you pick first cell this first coin then move to second you can pick second coin now you want to skip the thorns so as you can move one or two cells you move to the second cell instead of one so you move two cells ahead and you pick this coin then you move to empty cell now you have two consecutive thorns so hence we stop here as we got two consecutive thorns and we can't move more than two cells ahead so here you can move one or two cells along the path so if i move one cell i get the thorn if i move two cells then also i get the thorn so no possibility is left hence maximum three coins are there which can be taken in consideration so we need to collect as many coins as possible and we need to print the maximum number of coins which can be picked by us so input is 3 the number of test cases and n which contains length of the path and the characters are there which represents these coins empty spaces and thorns so dot represents empty cell at the red denotes cell with coin star denotes cell with thorns and it is guaranteed that first cell is empty so for each of them we need to print maximum number of coins we can collect so in first case as you see in this case you pick up first at the rate at index 2 second at index 3 then you can skip one cell and move to the next cell here so you pick this coin up at index 5 and then you can move to the blank cell which is at index 6 now at index 7 and 8 you have thorns so hence you can't move forward and you stop here at three. so if you check you have collected three coins hence the answer is three now in the second case if you see you check here starting point is always empty you know to move to the next cell so you can start with index 1 if you want you can skip index 0 as it is always an empty cell and it is guaranteed in the question as it is written here so we start from the second cell we have continuously at the rate at the rate so we can move to index 2 3 4 5 without a break and hence we can cover all the four coins so the output is four in this case now in case of the next one we have two consecutive at index two and three then we can move to index four or you can directly move to index five then you move to index six where you find another cell and then there are thorns three thorns so we can't move forward hence wherever were the cells in second third and sixth index so we can collect them and the output is three in this case so we can cover empty cells we can cover the cells with the coins but we can't cover cell with the thorn so that's the idea of the question now how to proceed the question first if you see 
द केस वेर टू काउंट्स आर कॉन्जिक्यूटिव विल स्टॉप अस फ्रॉम मूविंग फॉरवर्ड सो वी नीड टू चेक इफ टू थॉन्ट्स आर कॉन्जिक्यूटिव और नॉट इफ देर आर कॉन्जिक्यूटिव वी विल ब्रेक द लूप देर इट सेल्फ एंड द कॉइन्स काउंटेड टिल दैट पॉइंट विल बी आर आंसर एज वी सो इन दीज थ्री केस नाउ लेट्स लुक एट द केस ऑफ सपोज हेयर इज डॉट एट द रेट देन अथॉन देन एट द रेट एंड देन सपोज वी हैव वन थॉन वन एम टी सेल एंड देन वन थॉन एंड एट लास्ट वन एट द रेट सो इन दिस केस यू मूव फ्रॉम दिस एट द रेट टू दिस directly as you can jump one cell so you got one coin here you got two coin here and now here is an empty cell so you can jump to empty cell and from empty cell to this at the rate so maximum three coins you can collect now let's modify this case if instead of this dot you place an asterisk here means three thorns so you can't jump to any of the cells and you break the loop here itself when you find two consecutive thorns and the answer is two so hence we will run a loop with i ranging from you can start from 1 or 0 never mind because first is empty cell but it can be the case that empty cell is there and a thorn is there so better start from zero so we will start from 0 here and then go to n minus 1 and check for i and i plus 1 if at i there is asterisk and at i plus 1 also there is asterisk we will take this index in account let's suppose this index is t so we will assign t equal to i So at this index, the loop is breaking, and the count will be. We will count the number of asterisk till this index i. So let's look at the code to understand it in a more better way. So here is the code. What we do here is, first we take initially coins collected as zero, and we iterate. from i 0 to n minus 1 if at any point we encounter an asterisk and next one is also asterisk then we assign t equal to i so at t equal to i you get the index where our last asterisk was there and we break the loop here itself otherwise we will increment i now to count the number of asterisk in python you can use path till point till index t dot count asterisk so it counts asterisk till that point now in case of c++ you can write there path i am writing path as p p dot begin comma p dot end plus x comma at the rate hold this in count function so we have count function in c++ you can use that to count this and this will be our t which is the index so i hope you all understand this solution thanks for watching